morning at Showcase. Quarter after seven. Hi kids, what day is it today? Look at this, look at this! I'm a photographer. My theme is nature is immortal. It will live on past mankind. Hi, my name is Carl. I'm it. a visual artist, and for my showcase piece, I am representing the theme of masking any problems that people don't wish to reveal to other people. Hi, I'm Avery Severs, and I'm a filmmaker as well as a dancer and a vocalist. For my showcase, I'm creating a short film and a short dance film about the verge that's in front of you that separates you from the future. I'm also creating a series of blackout poetry that I have done in old books that I've collected. Um, yeah, January 14th, hope to see you there. Hi, my name is Jessica Hirulo, and for my uh, showcase, what I'm going to be doing is basically a female empowerment piece. Um, there's going to be three canvases, uh, quite large, bigger than me obviously, um, that are going to be um, standing on skids. Um, it's basically to show that in history, women weren't really treated as equally as men were. So we're showing that women can have the power and they are wise. <laughs> I'm joined by the Innisdale Art Program. They're here to talk about the art showcase coming up this year. Very exciting stuff. How are you today, guys? It's free. Everyone is welcome. The food is incredible, especially thanks to Jacob over here. And everything that we've worked on throughout this semester has led to this. Every single one of them knows exactly what path they want to do. And I realized it was a way for me to act like who I was and kind of show what I can do and not be this shy, like, cocoon person. That's really cool. So, so you basically, you knew you had a challenge and a fear and you just yeah. faced it right head on. That's really, really neat. Well, for my showcase, I'm uh, creating my own clothing line. Sometimes when you feel too many emotions, you can't use words. You can't use the paintbrush. You can't do anything. So you put your hands to the canvas and that's what I did here after a really emotional breakup. And I guess this is my proof that it gets better and I can have my artwork to show that it's okay in the end. My goodness, are you guys sure you're in high school? I might have to check some ideas here. <laughs> you guys are blowing me away. Thank you so much for coming on. If you want to check out these amazing artists and what they're going to be doing, like you said, it's this Thursday, Anisdale School. Thank you so much for coming on, guys. We are making art for RBH. Basically, the RVH project is all the different like musicians and artists and like all the different things that are integrated. We're basically going to the hospital and the artists are making like a mural and we're like the dancers are dancing and we're doing music and it's all to basically raise like cancer awareness, I guess, and to make the people that are battling cancer and fighting cancer in the hospital like feel better, I guess. And, if like, there's art on the walls, like it gives more hope and like representation, I guess, and, of like. Like, how like one life ends and it goes on to another because like the fluffs still live after they're like a thing and like all of our paintings and stuff is like one thing leads to another and it's like one kind of constant loop of like everything in nature I guess so I I guess their whole idea for that was like nothing ends am I going now yeah okay mankind has looked up at the skies and the stars since the beginning of time I look up at the star-filled sky and hope for one day to finally be up there, and not just in my imagination. The 
idea behind the dandelion goes with the process of transformation. The dandelion, when it's at the point where the seed pods fly away, it's actually dying. But because all the seed pods are flying away, it's new life that's coming about. So it represents the circle of life and the idea that after death, there's still life. transformations that we incorporated in the mural were based on the title from the ground up. So we started with at ground level with close-ups of grass and then leaves and then we gradually made our way uh, to birds in flight in the skies, clouds and to the dandelion seeds that are floating away to endless possibilities. Uh, roughly six months ago I actually lost my mom to cancer. Um, it was fast, it was six weeks from the point where she was diagnosed to the point where she passed. So this project has been very therapeutic for me. Uh, Mason, talk to me about the music aspect. So uh, the music, uh, when we came up with the idea of transformation and the title from the ground up, I decided to sort of uh, convey that via sound using like a soundscape. And so what I did was uh, I wrote a song, very low key uh, for the hospital setting. And uh, I put field recordings in there, so at the beginning there's like crickets and uh, like a fire crackle, so that's sort of like very down low and on the ground. And then near the end of the song it, it goes towards like maybe sounds of wind and uh, at the end I had the uh, Kennedy speech for the first moon landing. Oh nice. And so that was just to sort of convey that idea of transition and the title of the project from the ground up. I love the talent you guys have. I love that you're, you're tapping into it at such a young age. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you guys. Uh, so if you want to check out what they're doing at the RVH, that's tomorrow? Yes. yes. One o'clock? One o'clock. Get down there and check it out. It's going to be amazing, an amazing story. Thank you so much for sharing your story. The Integrated Arts Program fosters creativity in its broadest sense. As the only course of its kind in Simcoe County, it amalgamates all forms of the arts as they relate to the creation of individual and team-based projects. Learners communicate through traditional visual art, film, computer imaging, music, graphics, dramatic performance, and dance using state-of-the-art multimedia technologies and facilities. When you look at and experience the work today, our hope is that you will be reminded of your own stories and your own loved ones, and of the hope that RVH provides to those on their own path of healing. From the shedding of the dandelion pot in the courtyard, to the wave of poetry on the glass, from the transitioning canvases hanging along the corridor, to the soundscape and dance performance, the artists hope to convey the power of transformation that resides in nature and that is available to each one of us. Upward. Upward, soar ever higher. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Hinkle. I'm a mixed media visual artist. My topic for showcase is depression and anxiety and the strength that it takes to recover from it and to deal with it in everyday life. For my showcase, I'm going to have a sculpture of a broken girl that's holding, trying to hold herself together. Behind her, there's going to be a series of images on sheets, and it starts off uh, showing someone falling into depression, and then it goes along, and then at the end, it shows hope and trying to recover from it. What night is it? Showcase! All right, let's go do some showcase stuff. I got a poly yet. Go. Eyes down, what is it? Red cheeks and getting way too close, and I'll admit it. I hate to say it. Is that you? I gotta quit, but I'm addicted. All right, I wanna go. scream at the no, top of my lungs. On. I wouldn't be so nervous if we just hung out and some time, anytime. Where's stop for the tip of my tongue? I'm trying to make it work, but I feel like I'm strung out. And I'll admit it, I can't say it. I've got to live down here, I'll take you there.
Thank you there. Uh, words of advice for future integrated students thinking coming into the program. Don't procrastinate. Don't procrastinate. Don't procrastinate. Don't leave things to the last minute and don't f*** around. Don't procrastinate. Hi, I'm Andrew Bodagoni and I'm a visual artist. And for my showcase, I'll be painting six mannequins in Japanese tattoo style. Uh, yeah, you should come check it out January 14th. It'll be lit. Hi, I'm Olivia Fedley. Um, I'm part of the Integrated Arts class. I'm a mixed media artist. Um, for my showcase, I am doing a installation piece um, revolving around the theme of uh, magic and monsters. It's gonna be really cool. Come on out to showcase and check it out because it's gonna be awesome. Today is the third annual Art Struck, where students at Innisdale Secondary School put on an auction for the community. I feel very proud of them that, that they've taken this very seriously and they really care and have put a lot of their own money and, and innumerable hours into their works, um, making them beautiful for tonight's event. All the students in this class are in a special program called Integrated Arts. It's the only program of its kind in Simcoe County and the students are inspired by each other. Half the money raised at today's Art Struck will be going to the Women's and Children's Shelter of Barrie. And if you want to see more art by these talented students, they'll be holding their final showcase in January. And it's safe to say they'll be doing a lot better art than this. So, Papa. She's just being nice. Brandon Rowe, CTV News, Barrie.